Hey everybody, my name is Connor Britton and I'm a graduate student at Elon University getting my master's in interactive media. And today I just want to tell you a little bit about Livestream.com. If you're not familiar with the concept of live casting, it's the idea that with just a webcam and a broadband connection, you can broadcast yourself to the world and get your message out there. And there's a lot of that going on here at Livestream.com. Um, and I like Livestream in particular because it gives you a lot of different options and it's very thorough and very powerful. So let's take a look at what a live stream channel looks like. And this is something I just set up for this tutorial. There's not a lot going on here. In fact, there's nothing going on here because I don't have any videos and I haven't broadcasted anything yet. Over here is a little chat feature so that there's live communication between you and your viewers. And if I was broadcasting, you would see it happen right here. And if I wasn't broadcasting, um, live stream allows you to turn on what they call autopilot, which cycles through different videos and different um, broadcasts that you've done in the past. So if you aren't broadcasting, people who visit your channel can still watch what you've done and get, get an idea of what your broadcast is all about. So that's pretty cool. Now, how do you actually uh, stream video though? Well, live stream allows you to do this in three different ways. The first is with their live stream webcaster. As you can see, it's not very complicated. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, and it's really good if you just want to get a quick message out there or chat with people who are uh, looking at your, uh, at your channel. And if I had a webcam on, it would show up right here. And all you have to do is click go live right here, and there you go. You are broadcasting to the world. So it's very simple, very easy to do, um, and it gives a good idea of what live streaming is and how you do it. Now, if you want to get a little more advanced, live stream gives you the opportunity to do so with their live stream studio. And as you can see, this is a little bit more complicated and if you are at all familiar with TV production, it functions very similarly to that of a TV studio. So over here you've got your different cameras that you um, can use and, and that's one of the most powerful things about live stream studios that you can use multiple cameras and not only that, you can use the webcams and cameras connected to the computers of people who aren't even um, connected to your computer. So if I have a friend in Chicago who has a webcam and I want him to be a guest on my broadcast, I can just, you know, plug him into this um this pool of camera sources and there you go. He's not even anywhere close to me, but I can still have him on my show. So that remote aspect is really, really powerful. And down here you can use uh, graphics from lower thirds to over the shoulders. And over here is how you transition to video clips and um, cameras and, and whatnot. So it, it's very powerful. It's very cool. It's all done within your very own browser. And, uh, you know, over here is where you can manage your autopilot playlist. But I'm not going to get too much into how, to, how you use this because Livestream.com actually has some great tutorials on this. But this gives you a good idea of what you can do with this tool. Now the third way that you can use Livestream is with their newest tool called the Procaster. And this guy is pretty uh, pretty cool. They say that it's got the best quality of any live uh, live casting tool on the web. And one of the really neat things about it is that it allows you to stream video from your desktop and through your webcam simultaneously. So for this reason, a lot of people are using it for webinars, live tutorials, demos, you know, things of that nature. And uh, it really is quite powerful. And um, the only difference is that uh, you download this to your computer and it operates off your desktop instead of through your browser. So that is Livestream.com for you. They have a number of different services, but they all strive to be very user-friendly, but at the same time very deep and very powerful. So um, I recommend them highly as an outlet if you are interested in getting your own broadcast started on the web. So happy live casting and thanks for watching.